Hello. I wanted to talk to you about a concept that I've quite literally just come up with. I was sat on the toilet thinking through something, <laughs> like you do, and, and it's, this has come to me, but it, it comes with a warning that is swearing. So the next four or five minutes, there will be swear words and that if so if if you do watch this i know some of my people watch this with your children you might want to watch this clip first to see if you think it's appropriate for them because you might decide it's not and it's not my intention to offend anybody with my swearing it's just my way of expressing um the situation which i find really quite funny um so i yeah so i do hope that you you choose not to be offended by my language I apologize if it does offend you. So, probably really curious now, aren't you? I want to talk to you about brain bollocks. Brain bollocks. So, you will all know somebody in your life that generally just talks bollocks. You know, they might lie, they might only tell you what they think you want to hear. They might enhance stories to make them sound more amazing. Generally, they talk bollocks. You all know these people. Now, most of the time with really good intention, they could be nervous, they could be trying to make you feel better. You know, we have to have a little bit of compassion for these people um, because you know their intention is never usually one of harm, but still, they talk bollocks. That's your brain. Your primal brain actually talks bollocks to you. And this is what that bollock sounds like. So, say you planned to get up at half five in the morning because you had a really busy day ahead of you. You've got loads of stuff to, you, you want to get done. You want to finish work early, perhaps. Um, maybe you're going on a holiday, so you want to. You really want to get up. You want to. You want to get going, get early, get a good start, get into the office. Um, make sure that you're. Make sure that you've got a bit of time to yourself to get a load of stuff done before everybody arrives. Because as soon as they arrive, it's not going to. So, it's all going to go to pot. So this is your plan. You plan to get up five thirty next morning the alarm goes off you don't get up you snooze you snooze some more snooze a little bit more an hour or so later then you get up and now you're like bloody hell i'm an hour behind i'm a i'm a you know i'm on the back foot um this is my day ruined this day's a write-off it's going to be a nightmare um i'm not going to get anything done um like my day's just ruined now completely ruined that is your brain talking bollocks that whole cloud of crap all those thoughts that your brain just came out with is the bollocks because you don't actually know what your day is going to be like you haven't it's not it's in the future we don't know what happens in the future even five minutes from now we don't know what's going to happen but what will happen if you've got all those all that bollocks in your head your day is going to be spent spinning in oh i got up late this is going to be awful and you're so busy spinning in your head that ironically you then get nothing done which just proves that the day was a write-off all because of those thoughts i got up late i shouldn't have got up late this day's ruined i'm on the back foot all of those sentences sentences that you're hearing that's the lies that's the bollocks that your brain is feeding you because the only fact in all of that is that you got out of bed let's say 6 30. if we had a recording on you we could prove to every single person in the world that at 6 30 there's the clock there's you getting out of bed that's the only fact of that story and yet your brain is going, oh, this day's going to be rubbish. 
I'm lazy, I should have got out of bed earlier, you know, right off the day I'm on the back foot, nothing's going to happen now, it's all going to be a nightmare. That's bollocks. That is your brain talking bollocks. The crazy part, the crazy part is, we don't even realize we're listening to that bollocks. We don't even know that we're believing it. We quite literally think, or you quite literally think, you are just observing the world. You think that those thoughts and those sentences are the facts of your world. And you can apply this to anything. You can apply it to the weather. It's raining. And then the bollocks that your brain comes out with is, oh, this is miserable weather, I'm not gonna be able to go out, this is horrendous, it's ruined my day. It's bollocks. It's the same with the way you look at your body. You have a body. That is fact. The brain, the bollocks that your brain comes out with is, oh, my body's too fat, my body's too thin, I'm not good enough, I look ugly, I've got flabby bits, I've got, I've got bony bits. Nobody likes me. No one wants to look at me. I can't look in the mirror. Brain, bollocks, you guys. But it takes someone outside to show you that. It's the same with me. My coach tells me and shows me my brain bollocks. They are able to see it so clearly when I can't. And that's what mind man man management is all about. You will have a tiny little voice in your head that just goes, it's okay, we're gonna be fine. But we don't hear that voice. You can apply this to, so I've been applying this to chocolate, right, sugar. Um, my brain, so I call my primal brain Sue. Sue talks bollocks. She's, we want to eat the chocolate. We have to have the brownie. I need to, even on good days, I need to have some dates or some raisins. I need that sugar fix. We want the sugar. I want the sugar. But actually there's this tiny little voice, my prefrontal cortex that goes, I don't want to put that sugar in my body. I don't want to have that extra glass of wine. I don't want to put fatty chips in my body anymore. Tiny little voice. Only we don't hear that tiny little voice because our brain is talking loud bollocks to us. So we don't hear this tiny little, we don't actually want that. But when we strip away the bollocks and we find the truth of what we actually want to do for ourselves and for our body, when we actually listen to that tiny little voice of the prefrontal cortex that always serves us, it always gives us our best advice. It knows exactly what you need to do to become the person that you want to become, whether that's weight loss, stopping drinking, exercising more, I mean, let's take exercise. Your brain is telling you bollocks that I just want to sit on the sofa and watch Netflix. So much better. Let's have a packet of crisps. It's bollocks. There's a tiny little voice that goes, but I'll feel so much better if I go for a run. I'll feel so much better if I just go across the fields and get some fresh air. I don't hear it because of bollocky head over here. So if you're ready, to find out the bollocks that your brain is telling you, and I promise you it's probably doing this multiple times a day, because you have a human brain. It's what the human brain does, but you can learn to manage that. And I would love to be able to show you the bollocks that your brain is coming out with. So if you're ready to find out and you're curious about you know you're curious to find out more about this get in touch get in touch with me and we can find out what bollocks your brain is talking to you what it's saying to you i look forward to hearing from you thanks for listening bye